motorcycle moto vlogging microphone. Which we'll do is we'll get one of these microphones right here, just stick it in there, and we'll duct tape it on. Here we go. Microphones. Can you hear me? A trick I learned, thanks to Spicy 110, the guy told me about this, the smart guy. Check him out. I think it would work for pretty much any action camera out there, as long as it'll take a uh, 3.5 microphone. I'm running the Sony camera now, but like I said, I'm pretty sure this trick will work for any 3.5 microphone. Even if you're not in the moto vlogging, if you just want a good uh, microphone, for making motorcycle videos. Let's say you, you make montages, you guys rolling around, going up and down the road. These microphones. All right, never mind. These microphones are not, they're not built to sit inside of a helmet. They're lapel mics. They're mics that are supposed to sit on your lapel. Who wears lapels anyway? You know, but cramming one of these inside of a helmet, putting it way too close to your mouth, you're breathing on it, it's so weird, you got the visor down, it's making horrible echo sounds, there's wind noise slamming into it, you're trying to isolate all that out and just get your voice, but you still want to get some road noise, and you kind of want to hear your friends when he's yelling at you, saying something funny, you know, you want to get the ladies screaming at you in the car for the road raid videos, you know, you got to get all that stuff, and uh, you're asking a lot of this lapel mic that's supposed to literally sit here on your chest, that's why often they get blown out, um, it's real tricky to find a good system, it's because they're not meant for this, okay? And that's where a lot of guys, you know, a lot of the tricks that people use is they'll use just like random, it'd be like the cheapest microphones and like, oh, this two, three dollar microphone works. And, uh, but you end up finding out, you gotta buy like five of them because they got all their, their, their quality control is so inconsistent. You buy like five of them and maybe one out of five will sound good. It's like, and I don't know about you guys, I can't do that. That would make my head spin. I'm, nope, no, I'm not, I'm not buying that many of them just to, no. Wouldn't happen. So it has a funny mentality to me too, because people are all about to spend four or five hundred dollars on an action camera like that, but you got to spend more than twenty bucks on a microphone to lose their mind. What I'm about to show you right here works really well. It's only about thirty bucks. Remember how I said these, they don't really make microphones designed for that extreme weird condition? Well, they they do. They're just not. They're kind of tied into one purpose, and that's these Cena microphones right here. This microphone is literally designed to be on a helmet. You probably think I'm going to tell you about the Cena GoPro backpack thing. I've ran those in the past, and that's not what I'm going to tell you about. What you can actually do is get you just a second microphone, like a spare Cena microphone. It'll look like this. They actually have a headphone jack on here. It's got a nice bendable mic. It even comes with this Velcro patch in here, and you're going to Velcro this under the cheek pad coming up inside the helmet. But here, let me show you the problem. So you gotta make sure you're gonna get the exact microphone. I'm gonna link in the description here, because you need to get the one that has this end on here. And as it turns out, these these points are different on all these different equipment I'm about to show you. It doesn't just plug right in there. Well, it does, but you see it's, it's, uh, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. This is a 2.5 jack, and this is a 3.5 jack. So I know what you're thinking. You need to get a converter, right? These poles are different on different converters, okay, on different cables on everything I'm going to show you. I, I had to buy a handful of things before I found the right combination of things to buy to make this work. Um, even just buying mono, some of these some of these poles on here are in the wrong spot. I don't know why that is, but what I'm going to link to you here is going to work. So this, this style adapter right here, plug this in, boom, now you can plug this directly into your action camera. This will plug into the GoPro adapter as well. It's 3.5. It will plug into this and any other camera will take 3.5. Uh, I do know that some of the old drifts actually run a 2.5, so you should be able to run this straight in. But regardless, you're going to run into a second problem right here. That that is, uh, this is fairly short amount of cable. For this to sit outside your helmet, then loop back up inside the helmet and be pluggable in, is most likely it's too short. I bought a couple of these that didn't work, so go follow the exact links I have in the description. This again is a mono cable, but it's one that for some reason has these these poles, these pins in the exact right place they need to be. Velcro this inside the cheek pad, it gives you all this sort of bendability. Then you take this cable here, you know, you run it up, comes around, and you make it come out. And it's a good cable because it's a nice, thick, very well insulated cable. And what you end up with on the outside of your helmet, you end up with the cable right here. So when you put your camera in, like I said, I'll do an individual video just on the Sony camera because I'm sure some people want to know about it. It's all said and done. Plug it in right there. Boom, awesome audio. I've actually bought this whole second set up here, which I'm gonna put on this helmet, my paramotor helmet. Final thing you can do, this is sort of extra credit. Some fake animal fur stuff and some 3M double-sided tape and cut you out a little patch there. And what you wanna do is just put a little bit of fluff right inside the helmet here. And what you do is 
you put your head in there and you sort of trim it back so it doesn't get into your uh, into your mouth while you're riding. But that will help kill a lot of the wind noise. Tell that microphone does pretty good just on its own. This whole system will cost you a little under thirty dollars. By the way, there's the WR working on it right now for those of you guys who are normal fans of mine. Uh, but if you stumbled across this video and you liked it, maybe give it a like because you know that really that's really helpful. Thank, thanks to y'all for that. Uh, what else? Um, it's too bad you can't shove one of these in there. There's just no room and it's heavy to be a little bit, be a little much. Uh, maybe if you bring a laptop with you, you can run one of those and just chop the front of your helmet off all Ronnie Mac, Mac style and you can probably just kind of tape it up in there. Anyway, yeah, be sure to check out those links, y'all. Um, I think that microphone, if you've been having troubles, I think that microphone will work well for you.